Cynthia Rothrock is a five-time world karate champion. She holds six black belts in different, in different disciplines of martial arts. She received her sixth and seventh degree black belts in several of those. She was also looked at as a, as a new female Bruce Lee, and she was one of the first Americans to become a star in Hong Kong, in China, and then come back to the US and take Hollywood by storm as well, doing her first movie in 1985. Truly remarkable athlete, and one of the most remarkable things about Cynthia is not only how amazing she still looks today and how, what amazing shape she is in, but I've seen her, and many of you in the martial arts community have seen the time and energy and care she takes in mentoring young people. And that is one of the key components to becoming an inductee into the International Sports Hall of Fame for those that not only live the, live the dream, walk the talk, and also continue to mentor and teach and share this with others. And she attends a variety of Hall of Fames around the world, but now she's in the Hall of Fame of Hall of Fame. Cynthia Rothrock. She's grabbing away. I want to. <laughs> I know that she can handle it, it's not a problem. <laughs> uh, first, I'd like to thank uh, Dr. Bob and the panel for inducting me into the International Sports Hall of Fame. It truly is an honor, and I'm very grateful for that. I started martial arts when I was 13, and when I started, there weren't that many women doing it. It was sort of a fallacy that martial arts were just for men. And actually, I wanted to quit because you know, I was intimidated by all the guys, and I had a shout, and I had a punch, and my instructor uh, gave me a speech, and he said, you know, if, if you're, you quit, you know, you're, you're not a winner. You know, you're a loser, and if you're not good, it's because you don't practice. So I started to practice, and I started getting good, and then when I started getting good, I started loving it, and I've been doing it ever since I was 13, and I'll continue to do it till the day I die. But it's just so amazing to be here, and I want to just thank Arnold and also Jim Lorimer for putting on the greatest sport event in the world. When I was a, a kid, I would have loved to come to something like this to do you know, any sport and be able to excel and to compete. It's, it's truly amazing. And what I love about being here is that the whole energy of sports people, people that are into fitness, into health, um, you know, whatever sport they want to do, it's just so positive and it's so uplifting and it's a great opportunity for the young kids to look forward to, to train and to come here. So I want to thank everybody. I want to thank you with all my heart. I will cherish this and thank you so much.